The third interstellar object visiting us has been officially discovered. Just a few years ago, humanity was amazed by the arrival of the first two known interstellar objects, Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. Now a third traveler from the depths of space has entered the scene, C2025N1, also called Atlas or A11PL3Z. What secrets does this new visitor from another star system hide? Could it reveal clues about the formation of distant worlds or the mysteries of the universe? Keep watching to find out. What are interstellar objects? Before we dive into the details of C2025N1, it's essential to understand what an interstellar object is and why studying it is so important. An interstellar object is a celestial body that did not come from the solar system and that managed to enter ours. Its external origin becomes clear when astronomers observe that its trajectory is hyperbolic, meaning it moves so fast that the sun's gravity cannot hold it back. This indicates that it comes from beyond our solar system. Although it may seem incredible, the idea that bodies from other stars could visit us was raised long before one was discovered. It was the German astronomer Ludwig Biermann who, in the 1950s, suggested that comets could originate from outside the solar system after noticing certain behaviors in cometary tails that indicated particles of external origin. However, the first serious and detailed proposal about the possibility of observing transiting interstellar objects was made by Fred Whipple, also in the 50s, when he proposed the Dirty Iceberg model for comets and proposed that some could be exosolar. But the theories remained in the realm of speculation until October of 2017, when the Pan Stars telescopes in Hawaii detected the first confirmed object with an interstellar trajectory, Oumuamua. This object, whose name means first distant messenger in Hawaiian, had an unprecedented elongated shape and was traveling at more than 196,000 miles per hour. Unlike ordinary comets, Oumuamua did not show a visible tail, and its companion and origin remain a matter of debate. Two years later, in August of 2019, an amateur astronomer named Gennady Borisov detected a second interstellar object, 2i Borisov. Unlike Oumuamua, this one did present a classic comma and a cometary tail, confirming that it was a comet that came from outside the solar system. With 2i Borisov, astronomers were able to directly study the composition of an interstellar comet for the first time in history finding striking similarities to comets in the Kuiper Belt. These two discoveries revolutionized the way we perceive our place in the galaxy. They demonstrated that interstellar objects are not just a theoretical rarity, but a real phenomenon, and perhaps more common than previously imagined. These visitors may be fragments ejected during the formation of other star systems, messengers of events that occurred light years away bringing with them materials and clues about the chemistry and dynamics of other planetary systems. Now, with C2025N1 Atlas, we have the opportunity to study a third interstellar object and compare its characteristics with those of its two predecessors. What mysteries will this new visitor from the stars unravel? All about 3i Atlas. The third interstellar object discovered, officially designated C2025N1 Atlas and known initially as A11PL3Z, has captured the attention of astronomers worldwide as another visitor from deep space. This object was detected on July 2, 2025 by the Atlas Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Telescope System, a NASA-funded program operated by the University of Hawaii that specializes in tracking near-Earth asteroids. Atlas is comprised of several observation stations located across different Hawaiian islands, as well as in South Africa and Chile, enabling it to monitor the entire night sky every other night for fast-moving objects. The discovery of C2025N1 was made possible by images taken with the Atlas telescope, located at Haleakala on the island of Maui, Hawaii. 
This telescope is equipped with a wide-field camera that enables the capture of faint and fast-moving objects. The images revealed a point of light with a swift motion and a trajectory that did not match any known orbit of solar system objects. By analyzing the data, the Atlas team confirmed that the object had a hyperbolic orbit, meaning its speed exceeded the escape velocity of the solar system, an unequivocal signal of interstellar origin. The finding was promptly communicated to the Minor Planet Center, the international body responsible for centralizing observations of comets and asteroids. After confirming additional sightings from other observatories in Spain, Chile, and Australia, it was determined that the object would follow a trajectory that would take it through the inner solar system over the next few months, before re-entering interstellar space. According to preliminary calculations, C 2025N1 is moving at a speed relative to the Sun of about 118,000 miles per hour breakneck speed that matches the typical speed of interstellar objects observed to date. Its estimated size ranges from 0.6 to 1.2 miles in diameter, with a nucleus that could be comparable to that of a small or medium-sized comet. Initial observations with the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope and the Very Large Telescope in Chile suggest that it shows a faint comma, a cloud of gas and dust indicating that it is more similar to 2i Borisov than Oumuamua. The credit for the discovery primarily goes to astronomer Larry Deneau, one of the co-principal investigators of the Atlas project, who confirmed the images and led the analysis that enabled the identification of the object's hyperbolic trajectory. However, the finding was the result of the joint work of an international team of astronomers who coordinated efforts to follow the object in the hours and days after its detection, which was crucial to determining its origin and predicting its passage through the solar system. As for its brightness, early estimates indicate an absolute magnitude of approximately plus 18, which means it can only be observed with large telescopes. As it approaches its perihelion, the closest point to the Sun, it is expected to reach an apparent magnitude of plus 12 or plus 13 insufficient to see it with the naked eye, but within the reach of medium-sized telescopes of experienced amateurs. Is it a danger to Earth? After the few first days of monitoring, astronomers from around the world put their data together to calculate the trajectory of C2025N1 accurately. The observations were centralized at the Minor Planet Center, which coordinated the collection of astrometric measurements from observatories in Hawaii, Spain, Chile, South Africa, and Australia. The orbital calculations were fined with the first weeks of data, confirmed that the object's orbit is hyperbolic, with an eccentricity greater than 1.15, which guarantees that its passage through the solar system is unique. It will never return. According to the latest predictions, C2025N1 will reach its perihelion, the point of closest proximity to the Sun, on December 7, 2025, when it will pass approximately 160 million miles from the Sun, just a little beyond the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, 1.7 astronomical units. At that time, the object will be at its most active and brightest, providing astronomers with the best opportunity to study its comma and tail should it exhibit more intense cometary activity. The calculated trajectory shows that C2025N1 will move from the constellation Sagittarius towards the northern celestial hemisphere, visually crossing the constellations of Eagle, Dolphin, and Pegasus in the night sky. However, its passage will be swift. As it approaches perihelion, its speed relative to the Sun will increase to almost 160,000 miles per hour, causing it to move several degrees per day in the sky, a movement that telescopes will have to follow carefully. As for its minimum distance from Earth, calculations indicate that it will occur on December 2, 2025, when the object will pass within about 210 million miles of our planet, i.e. more than twice the average distance between Earth and the Sun. This separation ensures that there is no risk of impact, therefore you don't need to worry or be alarmed. The planet it will come closest to will be Mars, 
On November 20, 2025, C-2025 N1 will pass just over 160 million miles from the red planet. While that distance is still huge, space agencies such as ESA and NASA are already preparing observations from orbiters on Mars to get a privileged vantage point of an object that could prove unique data on its surface, activity, and composition from a perspective other than Earth's. For now, the world's largest telescopes, such as the Very Large Telescope VLT, in Chile and the Gran Telescopio Canarias in Spain, are scheduling observing sessions for when the object reaches perihelion and it is at its most brilliant apparent brightness. It will be on those days that the most detailed spectra and the most valuable data on its composition and structure can be obtained. Hey guys, before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel clicking on the notification bell and leave us a thumbs up so you don't miss out on our daily videos. What is it? One of the aspects that most intrigues astronomers about 3I Atlas is its composition, as each interstellar object discovered so far has presented unique characteristics that challenge our ideas about the materials that make up planetary systems beyond the Sun. In the case of Oumuamua, no clear sign of cometary activity was detected, leading to speculation about a rocky or even metallic origin. In contrast, 2i Borisov showed traditional cometary behavior with a comma of gas and dust, revealing a composition rich in ices and organic compounds similar to Kuiper Belt comets. From the first days of monitoring C2025N1, several telescopes began to analyze its light to unravel the elements that compose it. Observations made with the Keck telescope in Hawaii and the VLT in Chile detected a faint but unmistakable development of coma, a cloud of gas and dust that forms when the sun's heat sublimates the ices on the surface of the object. This detail confirms that C2025N1 is an interstellar comet making it more similar to 2i Borisov than to Oumuamua. The spectra obtained so far show characteristic emission lines of compounds such as cyanogen and diatomic carbon, two typical components in comets known in the solar system. Water in vapor form has also been detected from near-infrared emission band analysis, suggesting that, like local comets, C2025N1 possesses water ices that sublimate as they approach the Sun. This is a fascinating clue that the processes of comet formation in other star systems may be strikingly similar to our own. Regarding its shape, observations made by the Subaru telescope and the Hubble indicate that it has an approximate diameter of 15 miles. However, given its distance and the small angular size it exhibits in telescopes, these calculations remain estimates that are subject to revision as the object approaches the Sun and the images improve. The elongated shape could be due to partial fragmentation suffered in the past, a phenomenon also suspected in some local comets, such as 67P churyumov gerasimenko The combination of its physical and spectral characteristics leads astronomers to classify C2025N1 as a comet composed mainly of water ices, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide mixed with silicates and complex organic compounds. In short, a comet strikingly identical to those in our own solar system. This is important because if this comet contains the building blocks of prebiotic chemistry, it would mean that the dispersal of molecules essential for life between star systems could be somewhat more common than we thought. The confirmation of their cometary nature strengthens the hypothesis that many interstellar objects could be comets ejected during the formation of the planetary system. This process also occurred in the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. This reinforces the idea that ices and organic compounds can survive in interstellar space for millions of years and arrive intact in other systems, seeding the possibility that these materials travel between stars. Could it be that the molecules that gave rise to life on our planet could have come from another solar system through a comet like this one? Let us know what you think in the comments. Where does it come from? The question everyone asks when an interstellar object crosses the solar system is, where exactly did it come from? 
Thanks to precise measurements of its trajectory, astronomers have been able to trace C2025N1's possible path back in time, looking for the region of the sky from which it came. Current calculations indicate that this interstellar comet appears to come from the direction of the constellation Lyra, a sector of the sky rich in stars and star-forming regions. This detail is fascinating as it suggests that C2025N1 could have been ejected from a young planetary system that formed in that area hundreds of millions of years ago. By analyzing the object's velocity and comparing it to the dynamics of our galaxy, Astronomers estimate that C2025N1 has been wandering through interstellar space for at least 800 million years. This means that it left its original system when Earth was just beginning to host multicellular life forms in the oceans, and that since then it has traveled aimlessly through the void until chance brought it to a brief encounter with our Sun. After passing through the solar system, it is estimated that it will follow a new trajectory towards the halo of the Milky Way, moving with enough speed to escape even the combined gravitational pull of the Sun and the planets. One of the most widely accepted theories about the origin of objects like this is that they were ejected during the first millions of years of life of their star system, when giant planets such as Jupiter or Saturn were forming and their strong gravitational fields acted as catapults for small bodies such as comets or asteroids. This process also occurred in our own solar system, where trillions of comets are thought to have been launched into the Oort cloud or ejected into interstellar space. C2025N1 could be one of those exiles from another star, a witness to the violent beginnings of a distant planetary system. Of course, not all scientists agree on a single scenario. Some researchers raise the possibility that objects like C2025N1 not only originate from known planetary systems, but could also form directly in giant molecular clouds before the stars ignite, roaming the galaxy as primordial fragments. Others suggest that gravitational interactions in star clusters, where stars are born close together, could favor the mass ejection of comets and asteroids creating veritable showers of interstellar objects that travel over eons. This leads us to reflect on disturbing questions. What would have happened if C2025N1 had a trajectory that took it directly to Earth? 3i Atlas travels at 118,000 miles per hour. If it were on a collision course with Earth, it would impact our planet in mid-October of this year. If we consider that it was discovered on July 1st, it would mean that humanity would only have three months to deflect it, destroy it, or make any maneuver to avoid that collision. Let's remember that the meteorite that ended the age of the dinosaurs was only about 12 kilometers in diameter. This comet measures 24 kilometers in diameter, exactly twice that size. If it were to go to Earth and we did nothing, it would wipe out all traces of life on the planet. The movie Armageddon from 1998 would become a reality. Fortunately, 3i Atlas does not pose a danger to the Earth, as its closest approach to our planet will be at a greater distance than the Earth's distance from the Sun. However, this serves as a reminder that life on Earth could end at any moment due to one of these extrasolar visitors. The study of these objects is not only essential for understanding how planetary systems formed, but also for improving our ability to detect early and potential impacts. Each interstellar object we discover is an opportunity to refine our orbital observation and modeling techniques, taking us one step closer to being able to detect in time any potential collision course that one of these travelers might have. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then you should check out our interstellar videos on the end screens.